I'm going to show you guys how to modify your T outliners to look like What's up YouTube, it's the Barber Teasy. Today's vlog starting off a little late, it's like 2.30 in the afternoon while I'm at the shop. Uh, working on some videos, working on some graphics for some other people too, so um, nothing much for me boys today. I might shoot a little something later, but you know what I'm saying. Big change though coming, I'm about to shave the beard today. My girl wants me to go back to the goatee, so you know, happy, happy wife, happy life, you know what I'm saying. So, I'm gonna cut all this off, so I, that'll come up later. Uh, I don't want to shave my beard. Whatever. I might cut this off too. Who knows? We'll see. I don't know. Stay tuned. Okay, so big news. You guys can see it right here. I chopped the beard off. I went down to a little goatee, a little scruff, you know what I'm saying? I did like the number two, you know what I'm saying, with the little taper on the side on the back. I haven't faded myself out in a while, so it was kind of cool to do. Um, I haven't done it in forever, so. But yeah, I had the little part line from when I had the comb over it, you know what I'm saying? Kept that in there. But your boy look kind of nice, you know? Your boy look fly, man. Forget y'all. I apologize. One, for me burping, but two, having the hiccups, and apparently three, for vlogging like today. So. I forgot to vlog anything that I did today. I did some pretty fire haircuts today too, which is horrible. I posted on my Instagram, so check that out at the Barber TZ. Um, yeah, just working on videos today. I, did the, I finished that graphic for my cousin today. That was cool. <sighs> nothing much, so I'm hungry as hell. I haven't eaten nothing all day. This is the only water that I've drinking all day, and it's like 98 degrees outside, so horrible. Pretty short vlog today though, I mean literally like two clips. So I probably won't even put this out unless I can think of something to put later. Maybe we'll do a behind the scenes on the video shoot or something. Figure something out. I might be getting a new camera, but I don't know. I've been studying film stuff lately, so um, I'm learning like different frame rates and ISO settings and shutter speeds and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully this looks a lot better. Um, I might be getting a 70D or an 80D. I haven't decided yet, um, but I got a plug on one. So my other big thing though is that with the gimbal, it's this is already kind of heavy, and this thing's like one in like 1.7 pounds, a little under two pounds. The Canon's like two something, so this thing, the gimbal might not hold it. So okay, so I did find something to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys how to. Modify your T outliners to look like this. Might have, might have dirty, but get the point. So, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need your T outliner, your hacksaw, or a blade of some sort to cut, and you're also going to need a marker. So, marker, T outliners, and a blade. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna get ready to set up this shoot right now. Got the tripod, got the camera, microphone, showing you how to, how to modify these again. So let's set up the camera and then we'll start shooting. Forgot all my freaking, forgot my tripod at the house. Okay, so now we're gonna we got the camera set up here. We're gonna shoot this. So you know what I'm saying? Okay, so awesome thing I did. I recorded this whole thing without turning on my microphone like a straight rookie. So now I get to give you guys the play by play. So pretty much what we did was we drew a line and then took our hacksaw and cut around the line. Um, pretty straightforward. These aren't that hard to modify. You literally just take your 
saw blade, you cut the housing around the edge of the blade, like how I drew the line right there. Cut it with the hacksaw until you get through. That's pretty much it. And then you just blow you blow all the dust and stuff out of it, that way you can keep it clean, you know, that's pretty discard that. You don't need that either. Open up your area. And boom, you have some modified T outliners. Super easy. Now you may be asking yourself, why would I want to modify my T outliners when they work perfectly fine the way they are? What this allows you to do is number one, see your blade better. Okay? So you see your lines that you're setting in. Sometimes that housing gets in the way of I don't know, it just makes it easier to see. Also, it keeps the clipper cooler because there's more airflow into the body of the, of the thing. So that's the two reasons that I do it. So well, there you guys have it. I finally showed you guys how to do it. I got to give these back to my boy now. I told him I was going to do it a long time ago, but I finally got around to it. So I think that's going to be the end of the vlog. Forget it. Short one today. Show you guys how to modify some two eyeliners. So make sure you subscribe, smash the like button, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. I know I ended the vlog already, but I wanted to show you guys something crazy that happened the other day. Um, if you follow my Instagram, you saw it on my Instagram story, but my wall magic clips, my favorite freaking clipper right now, broke. I'm going to show you guys how it broke. It's the craziest thing in the world. So I was in the middle of a cut, right, and I went to open my lever, and this happened. My lever is right there. There's the body where it's supposed to sit. Trey snapped the body. Look at that. Clipper still works. Bro, this whole piece just fell off like that. Hit the floor and shit. Bro, it was the craziest. Didn't break any teeth. Shout out, though. So I, I put on my Instagram story. I was like, whoa, what's going on? And they sent me a message back. They said, call us in the morning. Or call us on Monday, and we'll, we'll get y'all squared away. So I called them, they're gonna send me a, they sent me a UPS label to send these back so they can send me another pair. So shout out Wall, I appreciate y'all. Just wanted to throw that in there for you guys, so stay tuned until tomorrow, peace.